and uh, so that was a really good thing that we did. Um, you know, so and then moving on to free agency, we really feel that uh, the acquisitions that we've had so far have been outstanding. You know, obviously the main topic is we added all the skill, you know, a lot of skill to the offense. You know, so the weapons, you know, at running back with Swift and on the outside with Keenan and, you know, Everett at tight end, you know, paired with uh, DJ and, you know, and Cole are, are going to be uh, uh, tough to cover. And it's going to be uh, exciting to watch and how we put those guys together. Uh, offensive staff has been working, you know, diligently uh, to put their scheme in. Of course, you know, uh, with uh, Shane and and Simo and Thomas, and, you know, and all those guys are a really uh, important uh, part of that. So, um, and I've been involved in that as well. So that's uh, important that we put those pieces in the right in the right spots. Um, you know, and then obviously, you know, Kevin uh, being back there at the uh, safety position is going to be big for our secondary. You know, so you know the loss of Eddie. Uh, in the communication skills and, and, the, and the playmaking skills back there are going to be, uh, you know, really good with Kevin back there because he's obviously been a ball hawk guy. He's had 28 uh, interceptions in his career, and uh, we're excited about that acquisition, and uh, um, I'm excited about working with him. Um, you know, I spend time with those guys, the uh, each free agent when they come in and, and the draft guys that come in, but the free agents, I spent about 45 minutes to an hour just really talking to them about the foundation that we laid um, the first two years, um, how we operate in the building, um, you know, how we're respectful and how we work hard, you know, in the, in the, in the parameters of how we work hard. Uh, and, uh, you know, get to know them uh, and their stories and their journey. You know, that's important for us to do that as we onboard um, all these new guys. You know, I think it might have been, what, 15 or 16 new guys that, that are coming in. And then obviously the four picks that we have, um, you know, you know, coming into the draft. So that's, a, that's an exciting time for us. I'm most excited about uh, April 15. You know, so to me, this is a great time of year. You know, of course, you know when your evaluation of your scheme right after the year, and you know, obviously we had the, we hired a, you know, an offensive staff this year. That was that was unique for us, but uh, I thought we did a nice job there. But and then evaluation of the talent, you know, in the draft, in free agency, I like that part. But uh, what I love is when the players come back. Um, and this is going to be a critical, you know, nine or ten weeks in the off season before we go to summer break. Um, so that's uh, it's going to be fun to be able to bring those guys together. And I said it last year, the most important part that we have, you know, besides scheme, right there is relationships. You know, so we're going to do a great job of, you know, intermixing the team to make sure that uh, that we get to know each other on a personal level and a deeper level just than football, um, because I think that's the glue that holds you together, the steel that. Is, is, is the middle of, of your football team is, uh, is the relationship piece of it. And uh, the team changes every year, and you got to do it every year. Uh, like John Wooden says, you know, you got to lace your, uh, put your socks on and lace up your shoes every single year, and, and we're excited about getting that started. So uh, with that, I'll open up Matt, questions. There's, there's obviously a lot of momentum building towards using the number one pick on a quarterback. You guys have spent a lot of time with Caleb here in the last month and a half. What have you learned about him personally in your time with him? Yeah, it was a really good visit um, out to USC in the pro day. You know, we went to dinner the night before uh, with several of the players um, um, on the USC uh, team that are, that are draft eligible, and it was uh, great to see him interact. Uh, you know, the great personality, um, great character. Um, you could see that easily during the uh, during the dinner, and then the next day we spent some time, uh, you know, doing the football. Uh, knowledge and all those things but I, I started out uh, about an hour and 20 minutes just him and I in the room together and just really hearing his journey you know his journey you know from being a little guy um, and you know and what I gleaned from that was how was uh, it was his mother and father love him uh, very much and uh, very supportive and you know you could see his character um, his football character there his football knowledge as I talked through that and uh, yeah, it's, it was it was a really good visit. When he comes in to the building in Lake Forest soon, what, what is, are the, the boxes you want to check or the things you want to learn there that next day? Yeah, we'll just continue on uh, some of the install that we installed there uh, in the pro day. We'll just keep uh, continuing on uh, on that journey. You know, teaching him more of the offense, and then you know having him give it back to us and, and see where he is that way. And he's been great that way. And uh, again, spend some more time uh, visiting with him. And uh, you know he'll get a chance to spend some more time with the offensive staff. You know that that, that wasn't there at the pro day, and uh, it's going to be good. Ryan was telling us yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, that when they go back, the front office is going to break up in the teams and kind of war game out. 
hey, do we need an edge rusher with the number nine pick? Do we need an offensive tackle? Do we need a wide receiver? Will you guys have any part of that discussion? How do you view those three needs that you have? Yeah, yeah, that's great. It's you know obviously having the number nine pick is a really a good spot to be in. You know, it's it's right there at the top, and and we're going to get a blue player there for sure. And you know what's uh, what we've done in free agency allows us to be flexible there, uh, to be able to really take the best player that we feel fits for us in that spot. You know, so uh, you know breaking up into pods or teams, we, we will certainly be part of that, and uh, that's an exciting time because we you know we're going to look at hey. Who's the best tackle? Who's the best receiver? Who's the best rusher? Who's who's the best this? You know that. So it's going to be good uh, to be able to break into that and see guys' opinions. You know, because you know, in order to have good communication, um, it's got to be authentic and it's got to be true, and you got to be able to speak your opinion. Coach, in a draft player at number nine, it's kind of unique where you might have eight offensive guys go first, and you may have the opportunity to take your top defensive player on the board at nine. How do you evaluate? taking guys to say maybe he's my second or third best receiver but this guy is my number one D tackle my number one edge how do you kind of evaluate what's important on those things? yeah that's a great question Herb I would say that uh, we, we do that by doing the pods so we get the pods ready to go and then we put who's at top there um, at, at each of those positions and then you go across lateral okay this way and make it, and then you rank them that way so hey this guy helps our team better this guy helps you know this way and it's all to me about always you know either affecting the quarterback or helping the quarterback. So uh, it comes down to those two questions. Pat, when you have a high draft pick and the amount of resources you guys have already put into Caleb Williams, another top quarterback, is there a way to find out how that player is going to interact with maybe some of your key leaders on the team and getting their input on on that player before you draft him? Is there a way that you guys are going about doing that? Yeah, um, yeah, you always talk about that, but it's important that uh, you know he gets to know uh, the people in the building, you know for sure. Um, that, that's an important piece to it. And then you know if you can have some interaction there, that's always great. You know to be able to do that. So I know that the players on our team uh, that we have are understand how we operate in the building and how we go about our business, and uh, that's always good to hear from those players. Man, when, you, when, you, when you called some of those players, yeah. who just the field straight, like what was? Those conversations, like especially some, with some of those players, like DJ Moore, who we're very close with. Like, just into those conversations. Yeah. So uh, just being uh, upfront and honest, you know, it's just talking to them and say, hey, this is this is where it was. Uh, both sides thought that Pittsburgh was was the place for him to be successful, um, and we understand that. And. I just want to let you know ahead of time, you know, it's hard to do because when the news hits, it's, you know, they've already heard it. So I'm always, you know, a little bit behind on that. But, uh, um, yeah, just being upfront and honest with those guys. And they appreciated that. You know, every, 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 guy, every guy that I talked to said, Coach, I really appreciate you reaching out and, and, and you know, let me know ahead of time. And, uh, and, and so that was it. Has every conversation been different or is it? Maybe same duration. Any, any questions? Uh, no, not really different. No, nope. they were all just appreciative of, of the communication. Yeah. You, you coached against Keenan several times. Um, what do you appreciate about what he's going to bring to your offense? Yeah, just uh, his situational uh, excellence. You know, he's been great in situations. You know, when you got to make have a play, uh, and and he can make that play. You know, he's been great on third down, great in two minute, great in critical situations. Um, you know, he's. Uh, what a discipline and, uh, and a, just a master at a route runner, um, you know, and he has the ability to, to be open and stay open, you know, with his body. So he understands how to do that. Matt, a big part of your responsibility, a big, a big part of your responsibility would be setting up sort of a developmental launching pad with a quarterback. With what you've done staff-wise and with your own knowledge, what gives you confidence about about taking on a, a new quarterback and, and then kind of elevating? Yeah, it's it's just really about just going through the process of it and uh, you know working through with the coaches um, and, and setting everything up for him. So, you know, when we're going to install things, uh, offense and defense, they have to be tied together to make sure that we're. Um, understanding how we're uh, moving uh, the quarterback and, and the offense in the right direction. And I think that's always important to do. Um, and that's not unique. Um, that's something that I've always done. Um, you know, so that, that's a big part of it. You know, and then really just the, the development side and the leadership side. You know, that's going to be a big uh, thing that, that Shane and I are, are working with the quarterback because obviously he's the apex of the offense. And that's going to be a big developmental piece as well. Who was your big, I'm sorry. Well, Oh, I'm sorry. What was your big takeaway from 
Caleb's workout and seeing him on the field. And yeah, it was great. It, it was great. Uh, the, the biggest takeaway is that uh, you can see the arm talent uh, on the film and you can see it there in, in, you know, in person. And that was the biggest takeaway. Um, what I loved to see was that uh, the interaction with the other players. Um, you can see that, and you know we talked to every every person that was on that team. You know, at the Senior Bowl, we interviewed them. We interviewed them at the uh, at the pro day. We talked to those guys at the dinner, and you can certainly see that those players uh, love uh, love him and respect him and uh, and what he's brought to that program. Yeah, just uh, just the overall weapons, you know. So if you have another weapon like that, you got uh, DJ, you know, and then Keenan, you know. So you know, you know, one A and a one A type receiver, you know, it's obviously very beneficial to any quarterback. Um, and then you pair that with a couple really good uh, two tight ends and, and running back. I think that's the that's the key piece um, to uh, helping those guys execute in a better way. Matt, for Keenan, for Keenan to show up at Cage Pro Day, what did that tell you? both about his buy-in to the team and the excitement that's building around what you guys Yeah, I saw Keenan uh, at the pro day and I turned around and I went and visited with him. And uh, I said, uh, how you doing? And he said, I'm, I was trying to go incognito. I said, you're in, in Beers gear, you're in Beers gear and you got your Keenan Allen beard sticking out. I said, I don't, I don't know if you're, you're pulling that off right now, but uh, no, it was great to, great to see him. And uh, it was uh, great to visit with him a little bit more too, you know, and talk to him about, uh, just about the whole process, his process, and and uh, it, it was it was really good to see him. I, I thought it was really cool that he showed up. Yeah, the fact that he did show up, what does that tell you about his mindset and kind of what he was looking to see? Yeah, I, I, uh, Keenan is uh, always about uh, the next play, you know. So he is he moves on quick, you know. So as soon as the trade happened, boom, he was there, uh, ready to go. He it was it brought his whole family. You know when he signed and stuff, and, and it was really cool to see those guys how supportive they are, and he's always on to the next play. For a vet like that to show up to Caleb's pro day unannounced, what does that tell you about the excitement that's around Caleb Williams? Yeah, it's it's exciting for uh, for him to be able to support that. You know, if we go in that direction, and uh, you know, obviously he lives right there, so it was it was easy for him to make that trip. You know, so uh, it was it was cool to see. With, you, with the additions you guys have made uh, on the interior of the offensive line. Mm -hmm. having that relationship get to be the focal point early on for you? Uh, very important for a young quarterback to have that center, um, you know, you know, experience, you know, be able to call and make adjustments, you know, to the protections uh, to help and assist that way. Um, you know, so we, we thought it was critical to get that, that piece and, and Ryan, Ryan fits that bill and, and uh, we're excited to have him. You know, he's been a pro a long time and he's moved along you know the line inside there, so a guard and center. So it's good to have that position flex as well. But yeah, that's a that's a critical piece for sure.